the Indian Contract Act contains no special provisions relating to formation of a contract at an auction sale. The provisions for auction sale can be found under the Sale of Goods Act. However, auctions and tenders are important to consider with respect to offers. We are all familiar with the movie version of an auction where precious artifacts are bid upon in elegant rooms and lakhs of rupees are made with a slight raise of a hand. Auctions are a business tool where a binding contract is made between two parties. But would an announcement to hold an auction constitute only an invitation to treat and not an offer in itself? Let's find out. Suppose A via an advertisement in the newspaper wants to conduct an auction of rare pieces of art. B now travels a long distance to bid for the art, but on arrival he finds out that the bid is cancelled and now B sues A for breach of contract. So the question is, would A be liable? Was there a contract? Was there an offer or only a declaration of intent to hold an auction? An auction where one could then come and make offers to buy articles for a price. Well, A is not liable in this case as the advertisement given by him was merely an expression of intent to hold an auction and it wasn't an offer. So where there is no offer, there will be no contract. An auction announcement is only an invitation to the general public to come and make offers at the auction. In this regard, take a look at the case of Harris vs. Nickerson. The facts of the case are almost identical to the example that I've just given. There was an announcement of an auction and at the auction certain brewing materials, plant and office furniture were to be sold. The plaintiff had come a long distance specifically to buy the office furniture. The office furniture was listed to be sold on the third day of the auction. But it was withdrawn from sale and no notice was given of the withdrawal as well. Now the plaintiff claimed expenses and compensation for breach of contract. He claimed that his attending the auction was an acceptance of the advertisement to hold the auction. So what do you think? Was there a contract? Well, no, there wasn't. Because the advertisement was given merely as a declaration of an intent to hold an auction. At the auction again, persons would be invited to make bids. Those bids would be offers which are then accepted by the auctioner when he or she slams down the hammer. Announcements of auctions are not offers to hold them. Similar is the situation with tenders. Suppose someone says, I intend to purchase books worth rupees 40,000 and anyone may approach me to make a sale. In that case too, I am only inviting offers. So in conclusion, in certain cases the law presumes that there is only an invitation to treat. That is, one is inviting others to make offers. However, this is only a presumption. It will depend on the intent of the offerer, the language of the offer and what a reasonable person would think. If the offer is certain, not open to negotiation, with the intent to be bound as soon as someone accepts, then it can still be considered as an offer.